Hey guys, what's up? This is Rush Dallas Productions, uh, bringing you another tutorial. Now, this tutorial someone uh, actually ordered, shall I say. Uh, it's a subscriber of mine, and he watched the video, and he wanted to know how to do the optical flares effect, as you can see in here in this um, part of the video clip. So, basically what I did, um, I used slow motion on it, and I put an optical flares effect right here. and. The, the thing that you want to know is how to keyframe it and how to do everything like that. So let's get to the point, shall we? We're in this video, guys. So uh, this is just a regular clip. So what I want to do is make a new composition. <coughs> uh, here, new composition. It's kind of acting retardedly slow on me. New composition. Make it about nine seconds long. And then you can, first of all, delete all this. Forget that, guys. Do composition. Make it nine seconds long in this case. And then you can either import it like this, the clip. And it's going to be under, let me see. My clip is right here. Same clip. Then you can put it to the timeline. And it's right here. Basically, this is the clip they're gonna work be working on. Right here. So now, what we need to do, as you guys can see in the beginning, I added a little twist to it. I added my own color correction, but for this uh, tutorial, it's not really necessary. Uh, what do we need to do is make a new layer. By the way, the uh, the the effect guys is called optical flares. It's made by Video Copilot, and uh, I'll, I'll get to the details later. So go to layer, make a new layer, adjustment layer, and you can name it just to get rid of the uh, confusion is confusing things. You can name it optical flares, flares, and um, then you go to effect, Video Copilot, optical flares. Now it's going to bring you this. And you got just you just gotta wait because it's initializing. You see it's initializing, so you gotta wait. And what I usually do, I put it render mode on over original always. And then you go to options. This is what it looks like, the effect that you see here. So you can either play it solo, you can close this out and everything. But in this case, guys, uh, I have my own custom preset that I made. And it's called uh, sub base because I use it for the sub base map. And what I usually do is just delete the streak, make this glow color one, make it blue, kind of bluish color, then make the bottom one kind of whiter. Oh uh, no, my bad. Blue, make it blue, and then make the brightness down. This gives you is it makes a. What this gives you is it makes a small circle, a small dot, but uh, it gives a, a huge effect still. So you can press OK, and you see that there's a small dot there, right there. So now, put it wherever you want to start. Where is it? Put it wherever you want to start. It's gonna glow. Now, guys, you can change the brightness of this, of course. Let's change it to maybe... Maybe 270 of uh, brightness. And then the scale. We don't need a big scale. Let's just, let's just put... Uh, here we go. And 10. That's good enough. Now, you can always change it up a little bit. If you don't like how it looks in the clip, you can change it up. Maybe make this maybe make this even more brighter blue color like that like so and see it, it makes makes a whole big difference 
this too much. So let's lower it. Okay, this seems, this seems enough. They make it 70. So you can change it up. You see there's a blue dot. I'm not doing it perfect for the sake of this tutorial because I don't want to go over the time limit. But then you go on the layer, optical flares layer, open it up, go to effects, optical flares. And then right here, wherever you want your, uh, your optical flares to be at a specific time, like I want it to be right here, let's say. Start right here. You drag the optical flares over here, maybe, and then put a keyframe on the position X, Y. And then as soon as it, like go, because you have lots of non-straight lines, go every single, uh, maybe 0.2 seconds, move it. 0.2 seconds move it like here, and then keyframe another, throw this out of your way, then keyframe it, move it here, then keyframe it again, then move it here, and you get the point. So right now we can just outline the whole the whole gun if you if you want to. Um, I'm just going to do it really quickly. So I'm just outlining the whole gun. Doesn't have to be perfect. In this case, right now it doesn't have to be perfect. So just do that really quick. That real quick. But guys, in order for this to work, I strongly recommend you. Okay, don't if you do a little bit of time, don't make the the optical flares go a, a far of a lot, a far of a lot. Wow, a lot of distance because that will make it go faster. So you guys can see six seconds already, and then you go here. Then you go here and zoom out. You go here. And basically, uh, let's say I want it to disappear. Spear now, I want it to disappear. And you guys can see what I've done. I made, I made the keyframes. I made it go over the gun. Right now, it's not uh, really perfect. But uh, who gives a shit, guys? Just trying to help you out get the basic principle for this. So that's how you do that. And um, if you wanna, if you want the brightness, what I did in my montage, uh, the brightness. Let me see how much. Ten minutes. The brightness. What I did is um, I keyframed it, and then before before this whole thing started, I made it, let's say, hundred forty right here. So when it goes in the trigger, you start seeing it. But put the brightness up here, 140, or whatever it starts out with. Not too bright. Remember, not too bright. And then put it right here, so you can see. Make the keyframe and put it to zero, so it actually fades in. It's pretty cool. And then every single other second, make it like 130. Then make it 135 brightness. So you can actually see the difference that it's kind of blinking and not staying the same boring color. Then make it 126 maybe. Then make it go up again, 133. That's what I do. Put a bunch of keyframes, but switch every single color. I mean, not color, but switch every single brightness uh, in a little bit. And you'll get the perfect effect that you want to see. And uh, that's pretty much it. So 145 here, maybe 140 here. Let's put uh, 145. Let's keep on doing it up, down, up, down, uh, so it doesn't look the same. All also. The 10. Now you see the brightness changing just a little bit. Maybe, maybe put this to 100. Now make this brighter. 135, let's say. That actually made it a lot brighter. Good. Take 124. And then I want to get to the end, guys. Um, at the end, 
if you want it to disappear smoothly make another keyframe and then make it approach uh, where it approaches right before it stops moving make the brightness to zero because you don't want it to disappear as soon as it's you don't want it to disappear after it stops moving you want it to, to disappear while it's moving so it looks really professional and that's the effect guys right here it's a really cool effect I strongly recommend you use it but also with the color correction if you guys want to see it here's my own color correction I created for this map you go to new layer adjustment layer and you put effect color correction curves my animation preset is uh, for ascension and here's my own color correction to it so now you guys see the color actually matches with the other thing and it looks really 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 cool like so so yeah guys if you want more tutorials um, I appreciate you comment asking me for more tutorials because you know I'll make them and uh, it's been a pleasure teaching you how to do something like this so ask and um, I'll probably give out some free stuff if I have enough views for this tutorial so peace out guys and uh, have a nice day or night whatever whatever floats your boat peace guys